Hey guys, Manuel Sanchez here. I'm well aware that the steps to buying a house might seem complicated at first, especially if you're a first time home buyer. Luckily for you, today I'll be going over the step-by-step -step process of buying your first home. Let's go. If you've been following my channel, a few months ago I put together a step-by-step -step video on the home selling process, which you can find right here. But today it's the home buy process that I'll be going over. Many of you watching may have no clue where to start and so hopefully this video adds some value to your home buying experience. If this is your first time on my channel, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button to stay up to date on new videos just like this one. So I constantly run into first time home buyers at open houses, many of which have no idea where to begin. And I don't blame them. Between down payments, credit scores, property taxes, interest rates, and closing the deal, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. There's so much at stake when it comes to your first home. Our job as real estate agents is to make the process smooth and seamless, and at the same time, keep you informed along the way, making it fun and exciting. In this step-by-step -step guide, you will learn what it takes to buy your first home from beginning to end. Whether it's your first time buying or your third, I'll have it covered. The very first step to becoming a homeowner is figuring out your finances. I always tell my clients that the best time to buy a home is when you can afford it. Don't let the market dictate you buying a home. Your situation should dictate when to buy. Having said that, ideally the down payment should be 20% of the home's price to avoid added fees. But don't let that discourage you. A down payment can be as low as 5% for certain mortgages. Step number two, finding an agent. I put this step before getting a pre-approval because most agents have two or three lenders they can recommend you for a home loan. Not only that, but it's always good for your agent to know what kind of home you will be looking for. This way you hit the ground running when you get pre-approved. One big word of advice, I know many think that the agent is the least of their worries and that using your cousin who got his license a month ago to have as a side gig is okay, but be warned, you should always seek out a professional realtor who does this full time and knows the current market and neighborhoods. If you're wondering how much buyers agents charge, the answer is zero. Our services are free for home buyers since we get paid from the seller, not the buyer. So if your agent tries to charge you, then run away as fast as you can. Step number three, getting pre-approved with a lender. I know many of you are anxious to start house hunting, but going to view properties before knowing what you qualify for is like going to the mall without your wallet. Imagine finding the home of your dreams only to realize you don't qualify for it. Not only that, but asking an agent to send you properties without pre-approval is not respecting his time. A pre-approval is a way of telling agents that you are serious about buying. Getting pre-approved is where you meet with a lender and go over your finances to see what you can realistically afford. It's quite a bit of paperwork that will need to be submitted. They will go over your financial background, job history, assets, and debt to income ratio. Nothing to be worried about though. They're on your team and it's best to be honest and upfront with them. Remember, their job is to get you approved for a loan, so being upfront is in your best interest. Step four, go home shopping. This is the fun part. As a home buyer, your job is to visit open houses and ask your agent to set up showing appointments. It can be overwhelming at first, but I've noticed with past clients that they pick up quite quickly as to what they like and what they don't like. The more detailed info you can give your agent as to must-haves and styles, the easier it is to narrow down homes that you will like. There's nothing worse than going over hundreds of homes online that don't fit what you're looking for. Step five, making the offer. Once you have found your dream home, then it's time for your agent to submit an offer to the seller. Have your agent call the listing agent to see if there are any current offers or where you need to come in to close a deal. Communication between agents is the key to getting an offer accepted. I have seen it over and over where an agent sends in an offer without ever speaking with the listing agent, only to lose the house because of miscommunication or no communication. Step six, getting a home inspection. Once you have an accepted and fully executed offer, then it's time to open escrow. This is the listing agent's job though. Your to-dos will be to get a home inspection and make sure the home is in good condition. Depending on the home inspection, you can request repairs be made or get a closing credit back to you. Something to keep in mind if you're not buying a new home is that you are not buying a new home. So more than likely, it will not be in perfect condition. 
Rest assured though that most problems are fixable. Step seven, getting a home appraisal. Even if you are pre-approved for a home loan, your lender will want to conduct a home appraisal. This is where the lender checks out the house to make sure if it's a good investment, meaning if what you are paying for it comps out to similar homes in your neighborhood. It's like a home inspection, but for your lender. Step eight, closing time. Close of escrow is where all the I's are dotted and all the T's have been crossed. Your loan has gone through underwriting, your home repairs have been dealt with, and everything will officially get recorded. This is where you get the keys. Now, something to remember is that there are closing costs and they can range from two to 5% of the home price. But by this step, you and your lender have already spoken about closing costs and interest rates. Step nine, moving in. You're done. You've officially graduated from a home buyer to a homeowner. Now it's time to kick back and enjoy the many benefits of home ownership. If this video added any value to your home buying journey, then hit the like button. Thanks for watching and remember that if you are considering purchasing a home, then you can always contact me. I'm here to help and I'm the easiest realtor to get a hold of. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.